hey guys and welcome to scuba travel and adventure my name is thomas this footage is a highlight of our family road trip to vancouver british columbia we left calgary and headed on highway 3 towards osoyoos where we have stopped in the evening at the fair park so our daughter could have some fun Along the road of highway, we have spotted some ostrich and goats. British Columbia was covered in a thick layer of smoke from burning forest fires in different areas nearby. We have spent our first night in Keremios Motel. So we are in Carimillo's little motel. Natalie is munching peaches first thing in the morning on a tree right be behind here. The peach tree broke and there's a load of peaches and Natalie is picked up a few for a bag. We wash them and we have them for the road. It is quite smoky out here as you see. You can't even see the sun. And how is the peach? Yummy. Daddy, which one else is good? The tree grew. But how come it's still growing peaches? Next morning, we started heading towards Vancouver. Our first stop was Vancouver Zoo, just on the outskirts of Vancouver. Our daughter loves visiting zoo animals and she loves all animals. After the visit at the zoo, before heading to our accommodation that we booked for three nights, we went to visit English Bay Beach.
just ate a fly.
English Bay Beach, also called First Beach, located along Beach Avenue between Glyford Street and Bidwell Street. It is the most populated beach area in Vancouver's downtown area. The Stanley Park Seawell, a popular running and biking route, runs along the east side of the beach. Next day we have visited Stanley Park, but unfortunately some attractions were closed because of COVID. Stanley Park is a magnificent green oasis in the midst of urban landscape of Vancouver. Explore the 400 hectare natural west coast rainforest and enjoy scenic views of water, mountains, sky and majestic trees along Stanley Park's famous seawall. Discover kilometers of trails, beautiful beaches, local wildlife, great its natural, cultural and historical landmarks, along with many other adventures. The park offers a wide range of unforgettable experiences for all ages and interests, including Canada's largest aquarium. Unfortunately, that was also closed because of COVID. From there, we went to Canada Place.
but I'm giving you all of my time. Isn't that good enough? Changing my patterns a lot. Yeah, I never thought I'd be sitting here wrapped in your arms. So let go of the things you hear. I'm not going anywhere without you. So put a little faith in me, though you're scared. No, I made it hard for you, but I can't. Now I wanna make you part of my plans. Put a little faith in me, though you're scared. Sometimes I feel like we're getting nowhere, and nowhere, and nowhere, no. But I'm still here. Hope that we will get there, and get there, and get there together, like no one else. You have a routine with your hair. You hide your face. But you're so pretty. Ah, so let go of the things you hear. I'm not going anywhere without you. So put a little faith in me, though you're scared. No, I made it hard for you, but I can't. Now I wanna make you part of my plans. Put a little faith in me, though you're scared. Sometimes. Things you hear, I'm not going anywhere without you. So put a little faith in me, though you're scared. No, I made it hard for you, but I can't. Now I wanna make you part of my plans. Put a little faith in me, though you're scared. No, they're caterpillar. Come see. Look how many there is bugs on this tree. There's a lot of action going on here. Oh, I got spider web on my head. Built as a Canadian pavilion for Expo 86 World's Fair about 30 years ago, Canada Place is now part of Vancouver's main convention center along with the modern Vancouver Convention Center building next door. 
designed in the form of giant sailing ship. This is where many of Vancouver's visiting cruise ships come to dock. The outside deck of Canada Place goes all the way around, including up some stairs at one point. It makes for a pleasant walk, its views of the ocean and North Shore mountains. An attraction within Canada's Place is the Flyover Canada film experience which is impressive at the multi scenery theaters visitors watch and pre-show film about Canada and then strap themselves into their seats before going on flying adventure over Canada from coast to coast. In addition to extensive conference facilities, Canada Place is home to the Pan Pacific Hotel which is one of the Vancouver's finest places to stay. Across the street is the Fairmont Waterfront Hotel, which also offers very nice accommodations. Canada Place is conveniently close to Waterfront Station, which is Vancouver's sea bus and May Skytrain terminals. It is also near Gastown, Granville Street and Coal Harbor and the Coal Harbor Seawall, which goes all the way to Stanley Park. Canada Place is also not far from the Olympic Colodron, which is just five minute walk away from the other side of Vancouver Convention Center building. Last day before departing from Vancouver to Vancouver Island, we have stopped in Gasta neighborhood of Vancouver visited once more English Bay where our daughter spent time playing at the beach and us relaxing together as family. Mama is visiting Gastown. Lively Gastown is also known for its whistling steam clock and mix of souvenir shops, indie art galleries and decor stores in Victorian buildings. A trendy food and drink scene includes chick cocktail lounges and restaurants serving everything from gourmet sandwiches to local seafood. Hip eateries also dot the neighboring downtown east side area, while the up and coming rail town district is home to edgy fashion studios.
Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment down below, share and subscribe. And see you in the next video from Vancouver Island. We will explore Butchard Gardens, Victoria, Cathedral Forest and Tofino.